Eve. So we just start with the opening kickoff now. Here we go. to the left shoulder by James Perry, number 18. Perry out to the left. He's got some space now. He's got a lane, he's got some space. He's down to some 40 and he's taken down. Tackle by the kicker there. Number 20. Comes up limping. Great return. Fantastic start in field position. As I say, apologies for the quality of sound. We're just having to use one of the camera microphones at the moment. And we'll be with full audio with you as soon as we can. So we've got Steve trying to fix the problem. Kwame's here with me. And Tebs as well, but he's going to get some equipment at the moment. So here we go then. Let's go, change of set up the wrong way. <laughs> single back run up the middle gain of about two yards before he's stopped by red in there number 33 the running back with the carry there play so here we go then, second down, one receiver to the left and tight end, two receivers out on the right hand side. Baumgart takes a snap, hands it off to Jack Sayers, he runs through the middle and gets about a couple of yards there and he's taken down just outside the 35. So another one yard run there for number 33. Oh no! Scott Castle's the umpire. And Steve Egan is the line judge on our side. And I apologize, I didn't get the name of the the, the line judge. Uh, Dan judge. judge, he's Dan. It's quite a new referee, but doing his good job today. So here we go then, third down is eight. Hello, 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 hello. All start against Oon Valley. Just see the nerves starting to kick in already. Third and long, you know, people are starting to, people are starting to, to shake a little bit. I think what they need now is, is a big gain, you know, a big gain and big play to move those chains to really calm those nerves. Be big for the Renegades to get third and out first, first drive, especially after that return. So here we go then. Two receivers out to the left hand side, tight end and a wing back on the right hand side of the QB quarterback. Back to throw. Bangor rolls out rolls to his right. To... Directing receivers. Throws one out and that's uh, almost picked off by 41 from the Renegades. In and out of the hands. Yeah. So we're here today at uh, Reading University's White Knight campus. So a very nice facility. It's the home of the Reading Knights University team. Um, and that's why we get the confusion between Reading and Berkshire. Reading is a town in Berkshire, which is a county. Yeah. So, fourth down and 14. Hello. Shield punt formation for the Rose Valley. Can you need to punt this one as well. A goes up towards the left, and that looks to be going out of bounds just inside the 20. Good work there. To drive here, get some points up. So, ball spotted on the 24 yard line. One receiver and a tight end on our side. And uh, two receivers over the far side, single back. Number 33 comes in motion. 
Pitch out to the left. Pitch out to Lavelle, and he's got some space on the left now. He's got a lane. Tip out of off. bounds. So gain of about seven on that before he went out of bounds. He tried tiptoeing down the sideline. So second and three. Again, we'll try and get normal sound as soon as we can. It's a scorching day today. So good snap, number 16. Little swing pass out. To number 22. Gets enough for the first down. Get it, boys, first down. Come on. Let's go. Great drop, great drop. They're going to be leaning on him a lot to get some yards in this game, I think. Snap from the QB, looking, throws one up, and it's just too high for number 88 there. Incomplete. It was defended by Zach Butler, number 38 from the Ouse Valley Eagles, their cornerback just there. So, again, Berkshire, how do we get out now? Hello, 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 hello. I've seen that happen. Hello, 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 hello. Line. And one of the referees there spotted that there was a slight error. So here we go then, second down. One receiver out to the left and the tight end. Two receivers out to the right and a single back. Number 22 comes in motion. Big handoff now. 16 runs out. He's got men coming for him. He's taken down there. Number 43. 26 yard line there. Big loss there. Initially looked like a designed keeper. But I'll put that down as a sack for number 43. They're going to spot him around the 29 to 30 yard line. Ball's nose on the 30. Right, so here we go then. Third and a long 16. Look to the pass over the middle. 88 in and out of his hands. So, thanks to both teams for providing us with rosters. Uh, unfortunately, they're not in numeric. Number 88, uh, William Levitt. Get there! I didn't mention a couple of times, times but this is good. Fourth down here, who's the Bucks? We've got, the Bucks We've got, got uh, 18, 18 James Perry returning for the oh, Valley Eagles. Now. And who's hunting for? It's going to be about midfield position for the Eagles here. So, first down then, ball is on the 46 yard line. Tight end and a, a, a wee end on the left hand side and a single back. Not to pass. Launches one deep looking for James Perry. Broken up there by two defensive backs. That one there, well defended there by the Renegades. Yeah, yeah two, two backs. backs. Well, here we go then, second and ten. So Same formation, the two receivers to the right, 
Tight end on a wing end. Single running back. Hand off is to running back 33. Met behind the line by the defence there. I don't think he gets any gain or any loss. I think he's sort of right back where he started. So that brings up about third and ten for the Eagles, and they're really going to be looking to probably repeat that same play they run on first down. So, third down and ten. One receiver to the right, looks like trip to the left this time. Gibby's keeping it. He's under pressure and he's sacked. Number 40, 38 and 29 there. All converging on the ball for Reading. A back shot on that sack. <laughs> The 40 Stuart Burrows, 20 Adam Hater, and 38 is. There is no 38. I don't, honestly, I don't know. Yeah, but we, we will find out. First he goes to send, we're going to have to pull him. Yeah. yeah. Eight and half. Right, right, so, here comes, comes the punt. punt. Again, it's off the side of the boot. Bounces out of bounds at around the 40. Great field position for the Renegades. They're looking to be definitely be able to drive down the field here. They've got some short field position. Let's see what they can do here. Yeah, afternoon, Russ, and everybody else that's watching. Afternoon, everybody. Russ Baker is going to be keeping us updated with the Hertfordshire Cheaters versus. Bristol Aztecs game today. Apache. 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 Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> In my day. <laughs> so here we go then. First down for Reading. Ball's been spotted around their 44 yard line. High formation. Lavelle in the backfield. And one would bet they'll probably hand it off to them. So two back set now for Reading. They have lead block in. He's up to the left. Lead box. Stiff arm. Gets some space out there. And runs over a receiver and gets taken down about midfield there. Just over the halfway line. Okay, second and six then. So, run up the middle, stuffed by the defense. So here we go. I think we've got a false start. Apologies, we're still trying to sort out a few technical issues. I'll take the camera. Yeah. Or the Right to the staff. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. So the Renegades just had a false start there, but... So, third and nine now. So, back to the single back set, two receivers to the left, tight end to the right. High snap, but fielded well. Number 16 rolls out to his left. Let's go! 
count by the offence to get their five yards back. That's a good decision there by the quarterback and, and everyone to... So obviously within this game, last time these two met at the home of Ouse Valley, down in Bedfordshire, Ouse Valley came away with the win. They're only one of the season so far. Berkshire still very much in. Maybe about half a yard gain, if at all. A lot of this game taking place in the middle of the field. It's a real midfield battle we've got today. Uh, not much. We've not seen any red zone football just yet. Which is a, sh which is a shame because we've got a camera angle. Is it Wickers? Or the Ouse Valley Eagles? Is it Wickers? Or the Ouse Valley Eagles? Ainsley Richards. Ainsley Richards, come on, man. Ainsley Richards. Get some more. Get. You've obviously been using those uh, Nike Vapors too much. They've lost the stickiness. At the start of the year, uh, Ouse Valley had Finley Harris at QB. And Finley Harris is... Well, he's a danger to society, isn't he? and I'm glad he's gone to America. Unbelievable stuff. Also, shout out to number 66 of Ouse Valley. Rolled his ankle last week, wanted to be... I thought you were going to say he went to prison. <laughs> no, but, no, but he does have a moustache and a mullet, and he does not... Oh, does lock anything. him away, lock him away. Quarterback cool, goes deep. Looking for a receiver and almost finds number 80 there. Would have been Lewis Kavanagh. Stop fingertips, Lewis Kavanagh. Battle of, battle of fourths, fourth and tens here. Well, again, we've seen some mad ones during our adventures. We've seen a 3-0 and game <laughs> over in Oxford. We've, I've seen an 82-72 up in Leeds. Yeah, but the question is, will it still be an upset if Ouse Valley win this again? Only time will tell to see if their players can get can have the endurance to last the four quarters. But that punt... Looks okay. like it's going to be Adam Hater with the punt. Fielded almost in bounds, but tipped by the gunner and sent it into the end zone for a touch. If it's touched by the player before it goes into the end zone, then the, by the kicking team, then they should get the ball where the ball was touched. Also, hmm. people, people saying that struggling with Lee is nothing on our end, Doc. We've, no. we've not seen any drops in connection on our end, so it very well could. Yeah, that's uh, your internet. Be, be you, unfortunately, guys. Mm -hmm. Mowbray, former East Valley Eagle, now plays for Nottingham Caesars, plays with me when I was here at the East Valley Eagles now. Ask his big Aiden Spear playing, of course he is. What, what, number, is, what number is old Aiden Spear? He once belted out a very great rendition of uh, Make a Man Out of You from Mulan on the bus on the way home from, I believe it. Anyway, Baumgart takes a snap. Throws a toss to, the to number five there, Joseph Chung, and he's pushed out of bounds there. Can't quite see how far he is. He maybe, maybe may have gained the yard if... There you are, Paul. Look out for number nine. That's, the, that's the boy Aiden Spear. Something down the 10 on the 20. John Vincent, Getting back to the line of scrimmage. And John Vincent, not really... who uh, managed to keep us able to through those Aztecs games, saying it's currently 6-0 to the Stampede over the Swindon Storm. Oh, sorry. I, I was going to say. <laughs> no one can get past the line of scrimmage for the past few plays. It's just been punt fest at the moment. But hopefully we can get a good play now as Baumgart takes the snap. Looks to hand off here. The runabout puts on the move and just about... No, that's, that's going to be a loss of one, it looks that's like. It's going to be a loss of one. I think sort of the past 10, 12 plays collectively from both teams have been about a net loss of about 10 loss of two. yards. <laughs> Sweating. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we, lots of Ouse Valley Eagles are in, the, are in the chat. We need some... Your support in Berkshire Renegades, let it be known. Or otherwise your chat's going to get taken over by the OVE. It's interesting because there's a lot of Eagles... Supporters commentating, but commenting, commenting. My bad. Past two, number right. eighty-nine. James Perry just makes a oh, catch. Ducking and weaving, making a few moves and gets brought down after a few yards. First positive play we've seen in a while. Ducking, 
So ladies and gentlemen, next week we've got a lot of games in the Prem as Steve will be going down to Kent whilst I will be in Bristol for the Aztecs versus the Warriors. Big game, good game, good game, big game. There with the completion yep. for a game of about 10, but it's still fourth down. Nice and they're start. going for a punt. There we go, some of the Renegades fans are making their voices known. Oh, what about this? That takes a bounce just around about the 40 yard line for the Renegades to take over there. First and ten on the forty-one. Pitch pass out to number twenty-two. Are you fight? Yes, mate. I have you. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, I have mate. Hold on, me. Let's go. Yeah, I have you. Over there, next time. Let's go, Dean! Well, these are. We are now back alive. <laughs> it's second and five, and they hand it off to Lavelle, and he's up the middle, and he's got some space now. Nice to low tackle by number 38. Who is that? I mentioned his name earlier, and I forgot his name. Some Bracky names the people that I played with. Well, that's probably why. It's one of those things like everyone. Oh, that's obviously having victory problems. So we're getting 500 meg. Yeah. 600 meg. The comment there. And he went by the name of Big Nine. The lead singer. That was a short handoff to the fullback, number 33 there. Aiden Spears' name is name now Judge Dredd. Aiden Warhawks. Humble Warhawks over the Mustangs. Humble Warhawks going on absolute tear this season. Unbelievable stuff. And that's the end of the first quarter. A very quick quarter. Quarter's gone by quickly. I mean, we're scoring, but Boxer have really been using 22 as that weapon. as a lot of like, a, almost like a Swiss Army knife, you know. And Louis Valley Eagles are, are definitely wary of that. And they've been queuing on him a couple of times. So it's been giving them the advantage to be able to sort of give those fullback runs an opportunity to really flourish, you know. But it'd be interesting to see what they can continue to do in the next quarters. He's in the shade. We are live here. Appears to be two receivers out to the left and we are ready. Taking the 
Here we are from the 43 yard line, second and eight. Renegades with the football, 20, 33 in motion. And he's going to be brought down after a few yards, not even, maybe a gain of about a yard or so. Peter Hart on the tackle for East Valley 41. That's Peter Hart number 41 with the tackle there for East Valley. Quarterback takes a snap now, looking, looking down by, by the back of his jersey and the Renegades fans and coaches are looking for a flag. Peter Hart with a tackle again, 41. Again, it's that man, number 41, with the tackle. He's just stat padding at the moment. So, fourth and three. Let's see what the Renegades are about to do. It's fourth and three, maybe fourth and... Maybe two yards left. Fourth and a short three will give it. And they're offering to stay out on the field. So it's what appears to be a run. What appears to be a And they're gonna give they're gonna give him the first down. So at the end of the first quarter, East Essex Sabres are 7 mil up against the Sussex Thunder. Interesting in that game, see what? So here we go, first down for Berkshire. I think we'll be wanting to go and see Steve in the end zone. You can get a new camera, get a new camera cut out. Tossed out there to out of bounds there after a few yards. Okay, the There's the man himself. Number 22, Ashley. But I'm not sure if he gains any yards there. And there's a flag on the field. Okay, so new rule this year, defensive players are not allowed to cut an offensive player outside of the tackle box. So we had 33 on the lead block for Reading. He was blocked below the waist by the defensive player. So we should be seeing a penalty against News Valley. It's going to be a big, big, big 15 yard game. Big, big, big game there for the Renegades after the flag. That's going to cost the Eagles quite a lot and it's going to march them almost half the distance to the goal. I was going to call that and I thought he hit him at a higher level. Yeah, we've got some red zone football. Yeah. 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 Up the left hand side, and he's gained maybe a yard or two before he's chopped down there. And again, it's one of those things where number 22 is very much embodying that sense we feel like we talk about every week. You know, you get three or four yards of play, you win football games. Seems to be that they're being able to do that now. Not massive gain, seems going to be like a gain of two, but it's still nice gain of yardage. Renegades know that they're in the position to strike first, put some points on the board. 
healthy game there. Are they able to keep doing that a few times? They're able to put some points on the board and move those chains. And winning the game in the trenches is the, is the, is the first step to winning the game itself. And I think Renegades have done a good job here so far establishing that. They go for a fake now and it's throwing, it's throwing the number 80 and he's caught that and that's going to be a touchdown for the Renegades. Now let's have another look at that. Lewis Kavanaugh. Lewis Kavanaugh with the reception there on the one yard line and all he's got to do is lean back into the end zone. Brilliant work. Very good fake hand off there, number 22 sold it. And that just shows how much East Valley are looking for number 22. They're looking for the run and they look, they queue on the run and just for a split second they forget about the pass. And that was all there. All of that there, created there by the efficiency and the proficiency of number 22. Oh, and there's a fumbled snap and that's going to be just six points for the Renegades. It appears we are in a hurricane. for Berkshire to boot it away. Power drive and that ball's live. And recovered there by the Eagles. Peter Hart, number 41, falls on the ball. And that, <laughs> you've got to feel bad for the Eagles player who just got absolutely <laughs> lit up by that ball and kicked out in full speed. Sometimes I never wonder if, if those are deliberate or if they, you know. <laughs> What can they? What that says to me is, front side. It's always you kick it to who you think is the worst player on the team. Definitely. So you've got. So you've got to start feeling bad if that ball hits you in the rib cage. He's just lucky it bounced backwards somewhat and not directly back towards the kickoff team because that would have. That would have been something. James Busby, number seventy-four, great centre. Love a bit of Busby. Of red. Joseph Chung there with the carry. Again. So sticking with this tight end formation with the, the wing back just off the shoulder of the tight end. Slot receiver and a spread back wide receiver, single back. Thirty nine with the pass, number eighteen. In and out of the hands. In and out of the hands of Perry there. I think that's true. You're going to be looking at the footage of that later and you're going to be kicking yourself. Both sides. Both I just, sides. I just want... Come on, Israel, please. It'd be really funny if you want. I'm here. I'm here for you. 
My roots are with Berkshire, I'm afraid. <laughs> Grow up, Mike. Have you got a dog in this fight? Is it a pass? Is it out? And through the hands, a number eight. On my side, I mean, I, I, to be honest, I've, I've got to myself neutral. I mean, I've got, I've got former teammates on both sides, and I grew up in Reading. So. Ben Perry there attempting the very low catch. Incomplete. This, this, it's a Kwame, it's a neutral. Job, Mike wants Bark I want OVE. So yeah. I'm just here to enjoy the football. <laughs> I'm just here, I'm just here, here to time. enjoy myself. I'm here in my yeah. hometown. My, my, my <laughs> link is I do have a, um, a degree from Reading University. Oh, so. yes. Speaking of Reading University, they played a game on this field against Gloucestershire, which I was not out, and then they beat the Gloucestershire Gladiators 12 0. I wasn't there for it. Uh, I was there, but I just didn't play very well, so I wasn't there. Punt formation. Interesting stance by the centre, high, high snap. snap. Baumgart gets off That's the rocket. better punt. I mean, I know. So the Renegades offense is going to take over here yeah, around about the 10 yard line. We're doing the commentary, unfortunately, we haven't traveled with the microphone, so we've only got the camera. Taking over right, right around the gutter. Our system so you just doesn't take the people's behavior. So we're just doing a limited punch. Ten yard line. Ten yard line of the Renegades. Who's really going to want something big here? It's going to be a run well. to He's the... got some space and he takes a man down and he gets about five, six yards before he's forced out of bounds there. Slowly turning his way out of danger. The pitch was a little bit low and in front of him, but he did handle it quite well. Gain of six on the play. Hey, what a shout out, you know, Reading Knights. Good old coach Rob Smith has announced he won't be coming back. So, you know, thank you, Rob, for that. Reading Knights are looking for a head coach, if anyone's interested. Go to their Instagram if you're interested. Boss Chicago is looking for a D-line coach as well. So go for that one first and then go for Reading Knights, I think. But, but that's just me, personally. Why do you keep looking at me? <laughs> well, uh, you, you can't do anything because you're, you're over um, <laughs> Uni Bobcats. Keep oh. Right on the middle. Ooh. Oh! Nice low tackle there. Who was that? Number 29 for Who's Valley. Oh, Harry Rackham. Oh, we love a bit of Harry Rackham. Love a bit of Harry Rackham. Speaking of you, Rack, rack him up and knock him down. I rack him up. Saying. And it is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Good old. We're talking about uni ball coaches. Harry Rackham, uh, he's coaching at uh, Cambridge Pythons. Nope. There you go. I'll, I'll stop talking about uni, I'll stop talking about uni ball teams now, so don't worry about it. <laughs> You've tried that before, Tebs, and you don't do it nope. very well. Can you keep bringing you back to it? You can switch camera if you want. Oh, oh. Cheetahs scored against Apache PAC local. Contending for number 80, Lewis Kavanagh there. Scored the touchdown on the previous drive. This is where I really have to ask the question, do you think the Renegades are going to lean on what's been working for them to sort of just keep establishing that run game and just keep churning down the field or do you think they're going to sort of try something spectacular, go for the big pass over Run, the run, pass to keep them honest, run, run. The combination of 22 and 33, Lovell and Diplock. Speaking of, looks like a handoff to number 14 this time. Bit of a play action pass there. Trying to jazz out. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be multiple camera angles. From Reading, you get bored of these. You're not from Reading. It's fantastic to come. There you go. Going to be another timeout, Berkshire, I believe. Timeout for a. Yeah, it's holidays. It's. I don't know if that's. 
Them calling a the timeout if the referees just said, guys, <laughs> Oh, I mean, I thought you said Berkshire. It's, it's timeout Berkshire. It's there you go, so it's timeout Berkshire. I just heard immediately someone shouted water break. I mean, they're going to take on water, and that's smart. We're, I'll tell you what, we're taking on water. Sorry. We're taking on water here. So 29 you... degrees today in Reading, it says. Absolutely disgusting. Now, this is... This is I'm, I'm, I've coached at this field and I've um, officiated on this field and it's one of those interesting ones is on a dry day it's a fantastic field but any m amount of moisture and it is just it just goes to pot slipperiness it's a strange as field. someone who has previously played on this field I can agree well I've only I've, 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 only, I've only ever played on it when it's been dry so. yeah it's one of those that's very very easily called off for um, waterlogging during the winter Mm -hmm. So, ready. I live up here, pretty much up the road, right? I'm walking to the game. I get halfway and I hear one of my teammates. And the game's called off. I thought he was pulling my legs. So I'm like, ha ha ha! <laughs> you're joking, you're joking. I get there and the game. Third down and eight, guys. After the time Stayed out. on campus. Yeah, but it's it's a well marked field. I understand they use a one of those robots that comes out. Yeah, they so, do it. They do it really well here, and it's actually a hundred yards as well, which yeah. isn't. And as and they do it thing. properly. Is that the sidelines and the hash marks on the side don't touch the sideline? There's, yeah. there's meant to be a four four inch gap. A lot of people don't realise yeah. that, but. So sixteen, looking to pass, throws it out on a. And that's forty eight, and that's the interception for Fruz Valley, and forty eight is going. Forty eight is going. And that is going to be a pick six for the Eagles. Gareth Evans there. Why did I think you were going to say Gareth Bale? <laughs> Get out of the way then. <laughs> what do Wales, do respect, Mike? Golf, it, we've got a Eagles. Mike. Do you want me Can you please move out the way, Mike? <laughs> Good job, we're not on a platform. <laughs> we're not on a platform. Why does anyone push out of the way? <laughs> So and just like that, this game is tied up 6-6, six, six, but can Ooze Valley kick it through to take the lead go in the second quarter? Don't know how much time is left. Next time we see a ref, I'm sure to ask him. But or are they gonna no, they're definitely going for one. They're definitely I see Number there. 70, they gonna Scott Gale. Oh, oh well. Scott Gale, who is he's a big man, he can kick. When I play from he loves being the kicker. And that's through. Yes. Okay, Ooze Valley. Fantastic. Yes, Ooze Valley, get in. Ooze Valley are in the lead. Now, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, considering I'm stood very close to the Berkshire sideline, <laughs> shouldn't be saying that that loudly, but you know what? I'm impartial for every other game. But I don't get to, I don't get to commentate games that you know I, teams I played for. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, and he is wearing a News Valley Eagle shirt yeah. to keep his neck cool. This true, I am. Yeah. And I've been told I have to give it back after the game because they didn't know I had it. <laughs> That's not even a lie, ladies and gentlemen. I've... You know my response already on the Fox Trot Oscar. I'll be running in the other direction. Gavin Stanley's watching. Good old Gavin. He played with me at News Valley. He's all about it. He wants to see a win. You know what I want to see? A real shootout. <laughs> I want to see a real shootout today. I mean, we've seen a pick six, and yeah, I mean, it's only two scores. Yeah. I really think we're going to see attrition in the second half, though, with this heat. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So. I'll put it to this: if this game was only uh, two quarters, it'd be a much different game. It's going to going to be a lot of slowing down, lots of rotation. I imagine more so from the Renegade side than um, the Eagles. But it's the absolute worst thing playing cornerback. And we're not on sorry. Side. Thank you, mate. It's the absolute worst thing playing cornerback in this heat. And you know the other team just repping out their receivers and constantly getting them to run fade, 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 fade. You know that the other team's going to run the ball the other way, but you can't do anything about it because as soon as you lead the receiver, they're passing to him. So you're just there wasting your energy for no reason because you know that there's no business. That receiver has no business getting the ball, but... See, his thing, mate, as, as a centre, I don't waste and I can serve my energy as a centre. Just in case, just in case they need me to break out. Run a centre screen. <laughs> Anyways, as Perry kicks off. Short. Oh, yeah, shout out Nick. Oh no, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until we use this. He's, he's running to the CY, but he's getting through. Keep going. 
There you go, Nick Benning, former former HCU of these Valley Eagles. Got to give him a shout out. Shame he wasn't here today. Okay, I offered him a mic. He wasn't there. Is that the black jersey, Tim? It is the black jersey, Nick. Do, if I paid for it, I can't remember if I paid for it, Nick. If I'm completely honest. <laughs> yes, say <so> yes. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to short the club. I, I genuinely can't remember if I paid for it. It was three years ago. I'm not going to go through. I'm not going to go through my bank records to see if there's one for OVE. If they want it back, they can want it back. All it's doing is sitting in, sitting in with the rest of the jerseys that I've worn that teams don't know that I've got. <laughs> so the return was out to the 47-yard uh, line. So first down, Berkshire. And Paul Mowbray keeps commenting, and Paul is just a loud man. I'm happy he's not here. Um, yeah, but he's the one who forced me to go to Nottingham Caesars. Unbelievable stuff. Here we go. Pitch number 14. Pitch 14 is fumbled. Fumbled, fumbled, fumbled. Ball is live. And that is... And that... And East Valley have got it. Let's see. Yeah, and there we go. And, an and another turnover for the Ooze Valley Eagles. Ooze Valley recovered that. That was all... That was all nerves. That was all nerves because there wasn't anyone around. There wasn't anyone within five yards of him. And he just straight up dropped the ball. So Mason Williams there with that fumble. We well, did say on the previous time we saw the pitch that the pitch wasn't really accurate. But Lovett managed to take control of it, number 14 there, it just didn't... Just couldn't quite haul it in there, and I think... Nine uh, yard nine. Oh, was that, oh, was that Aiden who got that? Yeah, the again, Vaseline hands there, my, my, on again. Own, full security. Aiden Spear, he did a wonderful, he's got a wonderful singing voice. He's a firefighter as well. <laughs> Nathan Coates, it's only, tw only 12 degrees in Plymouth, you lucky, lucky man. Blitz off at the end there, nearly. The right hand off there to Chung. As he was lined up at tight end earlier, but has started lining up in the backfield with recent snaps. it would be interesting to see if they move him around. To see if he... I can't believe it's only 12 degrees. I can't believe it's only 12 degrees in Plymouth. I'm genuinely jealous. I mean... The problem with the UK that up in the back backfield. It's like 20 degrees, it's like horrible sun. You can go to Spain or any other country, it's 30 odd degrees plus. And it's beautiful. Sit there, sunbathe. Do that over there. Brown guy, centre. Under centre. Hands it off to Chung. Finds a gap. He's got a gap. And he's surrounded by renegades and absolutely taken down. But that's going to that's gonna be a good gain for OVE. Looking like a, I'm so happy. It's been a long time since I've been able to commentate with Mike, and Mike's the man of the miserable. So, Mike, tell me how long have they got to go? It's a uh, third and two. Third and two here. Can his valley do it? As you can see from the chain crew, we are not lying. <laughs> <laughs> Love the collection of eagles on the o on the eagles' online. I tell you what, Nathan, I was the exact same because I had a. I had a matte black one when I played for them, they all have white helmets. So. Here we go, Canoes Valley get this first down. Oh, that's third and third and in third in inches. Woo. Flaggy, Most flaggy, flag. Not idea. And just, just like that, that short yardage situation is now a dream of days gone past Frews Valley and they're going to have to punch it in from... be interesting to see if number five plays any defensive snaps because I remember him playing linebacker. Put in the guy, the, the, the box man is not really paying attention to the referee there. Yeah, I was going to say... He now finally puts it down, so it's a long five. That was... For third down. I was going to say, like, <laughs> I was like, he wants to go back to the eight, but OK, Caddy's Valley do it. Here we go, looking for a pass. Oh God, looks for a receiver, finds a gone. wide open there, and that's James Perry there about the 20 and yard line. And that's going to be a fresh set of downs for Ooze Valley. Who's that? 18 there, James Perry, the reception. If my memory is yeah. correct, he also plays for the Sealand Seahawks. To be fair, I believe there's a 55 he does. Um, so I'm sure there's some more, but I can't remember all of them. But, I'm, but I know that Stuart Coop... Stuart Coop well, I know that they had a really fantastic day down in Bristol yesterday with so a try. I think I 
mentioned to you I'm to Mike of Sealand. Oh, here we go. Uh, hand off to Chung. He's got some space there and he's taken down by a few defensive players there. It's going to be interesting to see where they spot that. It's going to definitely look like a game there, but he... That's, yeah, that's going to be a fresh set of downs for the Eagles. Yeah, Eagles are cooking. The Eagles are cooking. Interesting to see him play and running back. Got to, shout, got to shout out Coops. When the Dolphins came over to uh, play the Jags, he got me my tickets to the Dolphins game. Can you believe that? Very nice. Yeah, there you go. What a fun, fun little fact. Fun little fact. Mm. So, ball's on about the 13-yard line. There we go. Chung with a carry up the middle. Blockers in front of him. Do they get the push? I'll tell, I'll tell you what, like, like Kwame, do, just do me a favour. Yep. Just pan over to the Eagles' sideline. Like, ladies and gentlemen, when we say like the Eagles are low on numbers, like, those are all the players who aren't on the field. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's not a whole lot of them, and I do agree that with Mike, right. this is. Because... And we hope that you know Ooze Val Valley's got their big. Jugs of water from Tesco for what, two Nine guys over there, and then we've got a couple more under the tent. 10, so, 11, 12, 13 guys not on the field. Second They're, down and two. They are here with 24 people. Uh, and they are in the red zone against the Renegades. Jump with a hand the pitch out to the outside. Good tackle. He's got some space and he probably loses a yard there, maybe. He's a bit slow getting up as well. Bit of a. Loss of about two on that play. Is he going to be replaced? Very there. well could be. Are they going to rely on the leg of big number 70, Scott Gale? I'll put it like this. When I, when I was playing three years ago for the Eagles, Scott Gale said he was going to retire then, but I was surprised to see him today putting on his pads like, oh, yeah, I didn't realise that you were still about, Scott. That's what I'm going to have to do. Oh, so here, we, here we go then. I'm just going to have to do that. Third down yeah, and about three back. yards. Yeah, the time being. It's, a, it's a nice close shot. That's cool. I just had to rotate this. Very nice pass to the outside. And he finds a receiver in the end zone for a touchdown. Yes. For the touchdown. Yeah, oh my God, and Ooze Valley. Lewis Marshall there with the catch. Lewis Marshall, another play that I played with, absolutely fantastic. Loss of speed. And just like that, it's 13 to 6 for Ooze Valley. You can see Scott Gale coming onto the field, ready to put that ball through and take Ooze Valley even further in front. The thing is, what you got to consider with Ooze Valley is, during their game with Hereford, they were up 20 points going into the second half and still somehow managed to lose the game. Very Ooze Valley do not want this now, but the storyline could progress for Ooze Valley that they just cannot finish. Scott Gale with the boot. And the, and the shade is a just... A cloud. A cloud has just covered up the sun. <laughs> oh, absolutely sensational. Amazing. Beautiful. Absolutely sensational. Here we... Yeah, the Ooze Valley don't have a lot of numbers. Let's have a look at it quickly. Uh, have a look at the Berkshire sideline because I assume we've got 11 on the field already. Well, I was talking to some of the Ooze Valley guys there, and I said, if you need someone, to, if you want me to come in and play this game, if you want me to come in and play this game, that's fine. Transfer window's still open. I'll come and play one game. But just know that I've not trained. I've not played a game since... Transfer is the 4th of July, isn't it? Tuesday, 4th of July. Head and shoulders, if you're watching, have a look at number 41. He's got a massive Hello. beard. You might want to get in on some of that action. There's some real marketable money to be made there. Anyways... I wasn't on your camera there. Oh. I had to switch it. Oh. So here we go, Ooze Valley looking to kick it away. 41. You can just about see him with that. No, I'm, not, I'm still not on your camera. Okay, but there's people in the way, so I'll have to show him later when he's uh... <laughs> And they're going for the kick, so I'm going to switch the camera up um, just in case. Side by number 30, A.T. Kavanagh. Ooh. Lewis Kavanagh with the return there. Well, a big shot of that block there, but it was, everything was happening right behind it. It was a good block, but the tackle was made. <laughs> A 
sweetheart. Legend has it. Legend has it, Sam's beard has never been cut. We get a minute, we'll, we will pan, we will show you Sam's beard later. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be right in the middle, Harry from the 47 yard line. Sam's beard is so old, it's a grade two listed building. <laughs> there he is, get the camera. Oh, that is a strong beard. The beard goes to the chin. I mean, oh, he, does, he doesn't skip beard day. Sam Eaton there, number 41 with the beard. 26, get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> there we are. Shout out to, shout out to this guy. Powerade as well. Good flavour. Second and four here for the Renegades. Roll it up by the Eagles. First down. First down for Berkshire. Well, it looks like number 33 with the carry there. As the chains are moving. That brings them just outside the 40 yard line. Maybe about the 43, 43 yard line they're spotted on. And that brings us to the two minute warning. Two minute warning, referee telling these players to take on some fluids. Very well. Rightly so, but as Very it stands right now, two minute warning. Righteous of them. Goose so. Valley are up. So, so under normal circumstances, two minute warning is not a timeout, but obviously because of the weather and the referees obviously need some hydration as well. Yeah. And the fact that like no one here is getting paid to play, so you're not going to risk Get some fluids on. <coughs> I know in my playing days I had to leave a game for um, sunstroke and exhaustion. Um, it's, it's not good carrying all that kit around in this weather if you're not hydrated. It's difficult. If you're not used to it, if you're not used to it, it weighs an extra maybe one to two, maybe three if you're not lucky, kilograms. You know, all on, mostly on your head. So the first time you wear a helmet, the next day your neck's going to be hurt. And the other thing is the face cage doesn't look very substantial, but it does reduce a lot the amount of oxygen that you can take in. Mm -hmm. oh, makes it that much harder to breathe. A strong run there by Lavelle to bring that right down to the... It's going to be second and one, maybe second and two. That was a powerful run there on first down. Yeah, and Mike, tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the Renegades only have got one. I mean, rightly so and fair enough, we're in the two minute warning. You might as well use the timeouts. Yeah, so well, so hold on, so hold on guys, while we're in the timeout, we're just going to go through some of the scores that we've got so far. Let's see what's going on for Highland Stags versus Roughnecks. Highland Stags 20, Roughnecks 2. Alphas 7, Rams 0, Blitzby. Oh, hold on. Hang on, hang on. Let's make sure it's updated as possible. 6-6, six, six, Blitzby versus the Devils at half time in a great game, which I would like. 14, Shropshire Revolution 7. Let's see what else that seems to be, what we've got. Oh, Invercide, Goliaths 9, Clyde Valley, Blackhawks 6. Obviously, the game that happened yesterday, Chester Romans 77, Sheffield Giants 0. Oh, Absent. during the timeout, they've given them the first down. So it's going to so be a first down hit for the Renegades. Well, what, a great, yard line. what a great play that timeout was because that allowed the ball to roll forward 10 yards and the referees to not notice. Anyway, we are back with... James Atwood there with the attempt to get on the snap. One minute thirty-nine on the snap. So James Atwood there was number seven for Oud Valley. Had the chance on the on the interception. It really it really when looked Kavanaugh like he had the slipped and fell down. It looked like he really had a chance, but just sort of stuck a leg out here. Nathan, I, I've not got a score for Pompey versus Cornwall. Pompey. 
Pompey. Good old Pompey. Pompey, I heard Pompey. <laughs> No, that's not Pompeii. Yeah. That'd be a long fly over. Vesuvius. High snap. Tip the flash. And that's, that's going to be oh. a missed opportunity for an interception. What would they be called if they had a team in Pompeii? Okay, that's something. The Pompey, Pompeii Magma. Or is that two on the chin? Or is that too soon for Pompeii? <laughs> Love Pompey Burners. Pompey Burners. To be fair, <laughs> someone on the team is wearing a Bruno Burners shirt for these Valley Eagles. <laughs> Gotta find them out. We've yeah, got a, a Portsmouth Destroyers. A couple of them. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Portsmouth Destroyers get always very on show here with a big purple stripe. There they are. Quite obvious there. There's one right in the middle. So here we go then, third and ten. Stick out like a sore thumb. Anyways, the quarterback. Oh, yes! Looking to throw that and he's taken out. 62 with the sack. He's a Alexander Alfieri. Absolutely. And that, and that is, you, that's going to put a break on the Renegades' momentum here. Oh, fourth and about 17 now. Fourth and about 17. In a situation, you're nearly at half time. Do you go for it or do you just punt? Go slow. Yeah, go as slow as go, possible. Maybe even take the delay game if you can, if there's. Yeah. I'd, I'd take the delay of game. And the delay of game and then fake punt. This is where we keep an eye on the line judge because he's the one that's got the time. Delay of game and then a fake punt. <laughs> <laughs> well, they wouldn't see it coming, would they? No! Ultimate something housing. A word that I can't say, otherwise I'll end up having to get fined £10. Pounds. Short little oh, kick. Very... Go, Ooh, and a oh, generous a bounce. Great bounce for the Renegades. Oh, my. Go down at the five. I think he tripped, touched it, and had to recover it. Spotted at the six. Spotted at the six. That's why Mike's here. There's a fly on the field. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it appears they're going to be needing out the clock because it's a hot day. I think they've both agreed to. This far deep in your own half as well. Yeah. There's... You know. It's risky, and I, I believe there's You're a lot of eight points. Me. I think you wouldn't. It's not really worth it. Uh, but but Valley 14, if that, Berkshire Renegades 6 at the moment. If that was the case, I think if that was for me, then knowing that these guys would kneel out the clock, then I probably would have gone for it on fourth down, because you know, if you don't get it, they're going to kneel out the clock anyway. Anyways. Yep, just a simple tune out the clock, and we can't do much, especially because I've just done the score post. I don't think anyone's changed. Seems to be everyone is in half time, but as it stands now, quite even game. Ooze Valley, you know, is it luck? Is it skill? But a pick six and a great throw. Gonna just wait for the whistle, and there we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is half time here in Reading with the scoreline reading 14 to 6 for the Ooze Valley Eagles. Gonna quickly see if there's any more scores on the board, but. Let's see here, there's there's one score which these which everyone here is gonna be looking forward to over in Swindon. It's 21 to 7. Hereford over Swindon as it stands now. Hereford are beating Swindon right now. Right? Yeah. Interesting. Hereford are up. And that's the other game happening in this division today. But with that, that's the only updated score from the last time. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a nice long half time. We're going to go and uh, take on some drinks. And you should as well. Definitely go and take some drinks. Probably not a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, but you can do it. But ladies and gentlemen, we will join you back here in say 20, 15 minutes or so. We'll be back. We'll catch you in just just a little bit.
ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in Reading for the second half of the Berkshire Renegades versus the Ooze Valley Eagles as it stands right now. Ooze Valley are winning 14 to 6. Berkshire, a big swing of momentum here. I'd argue it is still with the Eagles. A couple of turnovers been very fortuitous to the team from Bedford. As it stands now, I believe it's 21 to 7. In the other half of this division, the Hereford Stampede over the Swindon Storm. Yeah, yeah, well. Oh, cool, thank you. I need to take that. I've, 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 I've turned it off. So. The perch. So 29 degrees here in Reading this afternoon for this Berkshire game. We've been hydrating during the uh, break. Hopefully you've been as well. Here we go. That's going out of bounds. Yep. <laughs> and just nice and simple, we hit a start. Ball goes out of bounds. We're gonna wait to see where they spot it. So far, all of his kicks have gone off to that left-hand side. And this time it just went a little bit too far. Uh, So this is where what Mike was talking about in the first half may come into effect. War of attrition. It's a hot, hot, hot day here in Reading and there's no cover from the sun. Those small gaze gazebos on either sideline are not going to be able to shield a full team. Maybe Ooze Valley. But Ooze Valley have got the smaller squad. Well, one, of, one of the big signs is both teams are walking on. You know, they're not, neither of them are showing that, that little bit of a bite, but so hopefully Reading can come out and put something together. If I was their coach, I'd be doing run, 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 and really pound it at the defense to tie and tire them out. So here we go, 33 in motion, and off to 22. Lots of, hori lots of horizontal running there from 22. Getting some up, we're getting some up there. Just gonna read the chance we got at half time. Ryan Sharkey, the man keeping us informed with everything sort of up in the bombers new minus section saying that miners lead 47, heavy rain and thunder and lightning threaten second half. Saying there's been some abuse from Revs players to neutral volunteers. You know, not not good if it was if Ryan saying. Cheetahs 13 nil up against the Apache. Oh, and Frankie's here. It's going to be a run right. First down. Frankie Weeks is here. Played with Frankie when I was playing for his valley. This is this is the narrative I'm trying to spin. I used to play for his valley, trying to be impartial. So Ladies and gentlemen, it's not working. Called Frankie, do you remember me? Frankie, do you? I bet he does. I bet you he doesn't. <laughs> Frankie, do you know who I am? So here we go, going to be a fresh set of downs for the Renegades. So still that two back set. A little bit of a counter and he's... he's strong running there. And that's going to be a first down and a little bit more. 22, put in... The entire Renegades on, on his back Ashley there. Ashley Lovell, down to the 31-yard line. Lovell, Lovell's the weapon, you know, who's Valley, they need it. I do know that one of those, uh, one of the linemen for who's Valley has left the half time. I won't say why. It's getting slightly windy here. Oh, is all of our stuff okay? The chair has blown over. Right on the middle now. So if he takes it, gonna be that's gonna be like four yards. Four Berkshire, Berkshire matriculating the ball down the field. 26 yard line, so gain of four on that play. And five even. Quick 
See if Berkshire get this TD, expect them to go for two. They are down by eight. Pitch to the left. 22's got space and he's got the first down. He's got more. He's got more. Oh, touchdown saving tackle there. Who was that? Number 62. Alexander Alfieri with the touchdown saving tackle. Number 62, absolutely sensational. One yard short. First yeah, down and goal. If you're a Tennessee Titans fan, that haunts you. But if you're a Berkshire Renegades fan, you're going to be punching the air. Here we go. And we've got. Go boys! And Steve with a lovely, lovely camera shot. He's right, right there on the action. I'm going to expect this ball to go to 33. He's big. The fullback. QB, no, keep. QB keeps running. Yeah. Here we go, we're waiting for a signal for our referee. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And on the first drive. Edwardo, Edwardo. So the, the Eagles push there. QB keeper. Here, here we go now. When you're on the one yard line, yeah, it's pretty easy. Just, you get, you can put all your big men behind the runner. And obviously going for two here. Oh, well, actually we need to see that yet. Yeah, they've not come out. And off to number 22, but he's well met. Number 53. So there we go. So swallowed up there, score. Berkshire closed the distance, but the Ouse Valley Eagles still lead. But momentum is definitely on the side of the Renegades, making fairly quick and impressive work of that first drive. Lots of there, lots, lots of work there from 22 and 33. Well, to 14. Who's Valley gonna? Obviously, they want some scores here, but you know, when you're two points down, what are you gonna do? Go high. No, I think to be fair, to be fair to Renegades, they're one point, one point away. Obviously, it was a bad hold, a bad snap, bad hold that costs the Berkshire Renegades that extra point in the first half. Eagles still lead. Yeah, Frankie says he knows me. Yeah, Frankie. Love a bit of Frankie. So 14 to 12. Differences, two missed extra points for Renegades. You're going to be searching in your blood for that three. Dodges a man, tries to duke and cut. But James Perry there on the return, number 18. Going back there, where's the, where are they going to spot it, Mike? Give me a. Tell me. Eight and oh. Yard line. 39 yard line for the Ooze Valley Eagles. A bit windy here in Reading. Oh, he's going to get food. And two back set now for Ouse Valley. Two receivers to the right, man in motion number eight. Sets up in slot position. Number five. First drive. Still the two back set. High snap, number five up the middle, met by the whole of the defense there. Might have got to push forward.
Number five, Chung's slow getting up, but he seems to be ready to go for the next play. Certainly he's carrying a lot of the load on this um, drive now for his valley. Of course, they're going to be a third and six, third and seven, third and six, I'm going to say. I don't disagree. Yeah. And the eight with a reception immediately tackled. Lewis Marshall with the reception there. Lewis Marshall, the man who brought in that TD, or one of the TDs, the only offensive TD for the Ooze Valley Eagles, and one with a pick six. That's going to be a fourth and fourth three. And fourth and three. You're going to bring on your punt. You're up. You're up. You're up. So we see who's value that employing what we call the shield punt. Uh, three people back. Number 51 steps into the gap after the snap. So this is more a maximum protection for the punter rather than an attempted return. So number 48 is going to get that ball. Bounces off of him. His touch. I think Ooze Valley might actually have that ball. I'm not going to say that, but I saw an Ooze Valley player diving. There's a scramble going on for this ball. Whistles are going in, but, but let's see who this comes up with. If this comes up for OVE, then this is another fortuitous event. Now, that was interesting. Number 48 was there, and he ran away from the ball. And then a second Berkshire player ran up to the ball and touched it. I think 48 was leaving it to let it roll. So, right, referees so are having their discussion. Referees having discussion. Who's Valley don't know who to put on? Berkshire Renegades waiting with bated breath for who is going to be coming up with this ball. There we go, and that. And there we go, that ball is going to be in the hands of the Berkshire Renegades. And that is going to save them there, I think. Let's go! Let's go! So where are they going to be taking over from? Might looking to me like the 19. Now angles are all. Yeah, it's, it's a bit difficult to tell, but I'll go with the 19. So here we go then, first down. 22 with a carry again. Solid tackle there by the defence. Number 45. It was Oluwatifumi Okdu. Okdu with the with the tackle there. Apologies for the pronunciation. Another carry by number 22. Definitely the workhorse today. Yeah, Lovell definitely going for that MVP for the Berkshire Renegades. I think win, lose or draw, it's probably going to be going home with him. The outfit I've got on, impeccable. I do have a photograph I will be posting of him later on his, his Facebook page for you. Not so much Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> it, is, it is very... So here we go now, it's going to be third and five here. What are Barksha going to do here? They're going to hand it off to number... I mean, if it works, it works. Can you give him the first down? Yep, there we go. There you go, first down, Berkshire. Get the yards the easy way. You know, 
There'll be a coach out there somewhere. Look at that saying, keep your eye on the ball. I, I do have my own ball on a stick for when I do D-line coaching. I hate when I see a coach using his foot to simulate snaps. Yeah, you know, use a ball. If you can't get down and knee down, then get the stick ball on a stick. Here we go. Swallowed up there. Number 53, I believe, for... Going to be no loss of yards. Ford Renegade is going to be a second and a ten. So it's number 53 with a tackle, but I just can't see him on my roster. No, he's right. No 53 for the, for the Eagles. QB keeps. Looking for Kavanagh on the outside, number seven. Let's get new boots, damn you! <laughs> and, and number seven, it seems to be that number seven has been, he's been there a few times when the ball's been thrown his receiver's way, but just cannot get the old Nike Vapors to it. The the, the, the comment from the Berkshire sideline there, the coaching comment is get new b So. Get new boots. Good players. <laughs> <laughs> Almost just arrived back from the lunch run with one bottle of juice. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, gonna be a pass here for the Renegades. In and, and out of the hands of number 88. And that's gonna bring up a fourth. Kwame, what did you get? You got some fries. You got some fries, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you were wondering. You got some fries and a Ribena. Strong choice in the Ribena. Left my brother. Hopefully, it's still open when we can this thing. I'm okay for the time being, bud, but thank you. It's going to be a pump formation here for the Renegades. Number 20 looking to punt. Is that Because they were so. Great punt coverage there by Redding. And that ball just sneaking behind number 18 of Ooze Valley. And that is going to put them in some deep field position in their own end zone. Obviously, I mean, if you're Berkshire, wouldn't it be great if you could, if you're safety hunting, just to get that score nice and even? Put some drama on the day. So spotted it the 18 yard line then for Ooze Valley. Change of possession at six minutes and 10 seconds. Change so about six minutes left in this third quarter. Change your possession in six minutes and ten seconds. Helps if you put your put the radio on. Turn your radio on. It's like close your eyes, you're a Glastonbury, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tung up the middle for a gain of about five. And I'll tell you what, he came into that with some speed. So, second and six. That's good. Let's go, G! Now then, for East Valley, two receivers to this side for the field. Little bubble screen to number 18. Zaid al with the tackle there. James, James Perry with the double screen reception. Third and five now. QB keeper. 39's rolling, he's got that first down for his valley. Swallowed up by 21 in the Renegades. Tackle again, but we do have a flag in the backfield. <laughs> so I, I do them, so I, I 
So holding 10 yard penalty then. Receiver there, no flags though. So fourth down now then. Punting unit now with the Eagles. Come on, pressure on them guys, get safety here. try and force that safety but not not the best part in the world looks like they've only got it out to the 39 yard line I uh, don't know the on possibly on our school stream no no the full one out First down for the Renegades. Got a fumble there. Recovered by the Renegades. Injured player for the Eagles. Like Mike said, could be a war of attrition. Strawberries and cream, Dr. Pepper. I hope it's nice because if it isn't, boy, I'm gonna Right, I've it. never heard of this drink before. Yeah, they sell all the American drinks up here. Today I'll make that cream soda with Dr. Pepper still on. I'm gonna have a review here from the bar, mate. It looks... It's going. So here we go, just as the uh, yeah, that is Scott Gale, number 70, who's up. So we're just going to go through some scores as people get ready. So 43 to nil, Staffordshire surge over the railroaders. 
Rams up 14 7 over Scunthorpe Alphas. East Kent Mavericks 14, Ipswich Cardinals 10. Don't know where that is in the game. <coughs> Weird pass. He launches one deep. Um, yeah, it wasn't PI. They're calling for PI, it wasn't PI. The receiver just. I think he just lost his foot in, or he just, I don't know, he lost the ball. He lost track of the ball. So here we go now, going to be a third and ten for the Renegades. Uh, this half will go quick for the Renegades, unless they start putting that ball. Realistically, you know, you only need a field goal to, to take the lead here. So here we go. Two on the right, one on the left. Two in the backfield. One in the backfield. All the Renegades now. 16's looking. And he throws it over the head now. It's fourth down. Fourth. He's got an alright arm, but he's just wildly inaccurate. He's just missing, just straight up missing it. I don't know if it's a problem with the receivers or if it's a problem with the quarterback or whatnot, but he's just off target. They, they, they look all right when they come out, you know, the spirals look all right, but it's just like, what's the point yeah. if I'm over here and it's going to work? Yeah, well, it's like the spirals are nice, but... But you can have a nice spiral in the world, but if it doesn't go into the receiver's hands, then it might have... It's just as bad as a pass thrown by me. He makes a great spiral, but he's pressing the wrong button to yeah. levels of respect. <laughs> Boots away. This one's, this one's gonna bounce. This one's gonna bounce and it's gonna be recovered there by Perry. And he's got some space around the outside there. And he's gonna get himself out of bounds around about the 15 yard line maybe. That's looking like dead 20 to me. No, nope. nope. I wasn't looking, no. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, he picked it up on his two yard line and then took it out to the 20. It would have bounced into the end zone and saved him the effort, but yeah. they're gonna spot him at the 17 in a bit. Maybe 17 yeah. and a half, so he probably could have let it go into the end zone. <laughs> Lost out in eight yards. See, I can have literally no opinion about it as I've never returned a kick in my entire life. I've done a few. Yeah, uh, that's why you can have an opinion. And we were talking on, about previously, I had so been the target of an onside kick. I've had a few good ones and a few bad ones. I've held on to the ball every time, but sometimes you just... Here we go, the pass now for this valley. QB's scrambling. QB's on the move. Get away from the cameras. Face mask! He's calling him face mask as he's going down. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe because we, because with the audio issue, we don't have mics for each of us, you've almost definitely heard that. <laughs> Yeah, apologies for any comments or our language that you might find offensive. Uh, we do not have control over that. Let's go, G! Yeah. So, good run for a first down, though. Yeah, there is one as well. We're not going to ask these players not to swear, because if, if I was on the field, then, well... Going. 18 jukes, but well wrapped up there. Doesn't look like that's going to result in any yardage for his valley. Gain of about a yard, actually. So, oh, then I'll be quiet. I'm going to retire from this. Nice and loud from the Renegade sideline. Number five went early there, yeah, I think. Chung there for a few, for a gain and the first down, he's moved the chains and they've got them down to about the midfield. If the ref doesn't see it, it's not illegal. <laughs> Tell that to Nicole Ruby Coleman. <laughs> I'm just... Yeah. Tell that to any Saints fan out there. I didn't know the Saints had fans. That's mad. Here we go, fresh set of downs for the Eagles. I mean, oh, round off to 18 and just sandwiched. I mean, New Orleans, not Oxford. 
Yeah, no, I know. Number 36 there with the tackle. I can understand what Oxford Saints are fans. I can't understand why New Orleans has fans. Getting into the broadcast where I start trashing every NFL team about. Imagine NFL team proceeds to attract 60 to 70,000 fans to every Hassan Kashmiri with the tackle. Have now, fans. I have to say, uh, at the Saints-Vikings game at Tottenham last year, the Saints fans that had travelled over from the States were far more friendly than any of the Vikings. There we go, looking for a pass, that pocket is collapsing. Is oh, yes, going. Number 29 there. No, no, I don't, I hate the Saints and I hate the Vikings. Collapse so. faster than... When you put your hands in your pockets, realising that you've left your keys up. Christopher Mantell with the tackle. I never said I liked the Saints, I just said their fans were nicer. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> you don't like it. Who do you support? Steelers. You support the Steelers? Steelers They've got even worse. Even worse than it? No, there's not much worse than that. I genuinely can't believe the Chicago Bears have Jealous. people who go to the stadium to watch. Jealous, man. We're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, you're not. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Come on, the Steelers going to the Super Bowl this year. Just ask Stephen A. Smith. Oh, what? Have they all got free tickets? What's going on? <laughs> no, nah, listen, we're going to the Super Bowl. We're going to win the AFC door. No, the Bengals not. won't know what hit. We just sport. Dolphins. Well, that's exactly why. Right. End of the third quarter. Here we go now. Who's Valley Eagles 14, Berkshire Renegades 12. It's just bitter that we took Minka Fitzpatrick. Oh, don't get me started on Minka Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you. Kwame is making it very difficult for me not to elicit myself a £10 fine for swearing because the, I put it to this, I don't hate a lot of people in this world, but I hate Minka Fitzpatrick. I hate him. Why? Oh, we should have played better for the Dolphins, but he just didn't try very hard. Uh, have you actually um, fulfilled the previous fines? Yeah. Oh, Why would you say that, man? I'm, I'm, I'm just worried yeah. at No, no because I'm really poor, so I can't pay them. <laughs> So thanks for that, Mike. Oh, no. Hello. Who's, um, as we're going into the fourth quarter now, have you got, uh, I know it's a bit early, but so far, have you got a short list for MVP? Oh, 22 Barkshire. <laughs> yeah. 22 Barkshire. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's been some great play from, you know, Ooze Valley receivers and um, I believe it's number five for Ooze Valley, but like this game would be a completely different game if number 22. Lovell, I believe. Yep. Yep. Actually, Lovell. If, if, he, if he wasn't... I played with him for a game. Of there you go. So yeah. the, the, the most votes at the moment, my, my opinion, is number 88 for Ooze Valley with the TD reception and some other good catches. No, don't give it to Lewis. Number five. Back, although he does line up at tight end and wing back as well. I remember him and, being uh, a linebacker. He's actually lined out so in the slot now. I'm pretty sure because he played so, quarterback as well before. He can sling. But I know he can sling a ball as well. So he's potentially a threat for a for a double pass option if they have it and if they run it. But here's the Ooze Valley a real, real far back, looking like a third and twenty. Mike, you agree with that? Yep. Well, we're in the fourth quarter, so we'll see how much fitness and endurance they have. Great shout from the... Oh, almost. Bounds. Almost toe-tap catch there by number 88. Ball into his hands and just ricochets. There you go. Lewis knows where the camera is and he wants his screen time. Cruz Valley, they're going to bring on their punting unit. Randall Cobb-esque. Would have been... <laughs> Would have been something. It was a good effort by the QB there. He broke out of the initial tackle to make the throw on the run. Oh, look, I've got half of his name. I've got him. Temperature's still hot, but we do actually have a bit of a breeze now. Thank, thank the Lord. Yeah. Right, so first and ten. In the fourth quarter now. Ooh, different running back in now. We've got number 25 in the backfield. Behind number 33. 
You want to be off? Right on. Yeah, thank you. I know this guy. I played flag with him as well. 88 for Renegades. Yes! He's not a guy you want to play against in flag football. Hey, that's a good yeah. football name. I thought it was a tongue twister. I thought you said lion. <laughs> Get the first down to move the chains, or is he direct by Ooh, the, uh, right yep, by the marker? They're going to move the chains. So Ryan Shark keeps the mass informed. Shropshire Revolution 17 lead. Very, very interesting game. Both teams have been on an absolute war path. So number 88 for the Renegades is William Davitt. So here we go then. Two back set. Double screen, caught with his knee on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that once, uh, I was DMU versus Lincoln. Breaking because he ran for about 80 yards afterwards, but because they didn't have refs there, he ran for the touchdown and then they called it back because his knee, his knee, well, it, was a, it was a whole thing. I do you remember, do you know, that recently found out is um, the holder, when his knee is down, it doesn't count as him being down. Yeah. So they can then stand up and throw the ball. Yeah. So that's... Here we go now, it's going to be a th third and 12, 13 for Berkshire now. Sorry, ah! guys. That's good. Oh, oh. Out of the hands of number 28 there. And number 20. So let's see where, what is the most up to date one that we've got. Hour ago, 6 6 at the half for Blitz B versus Norwich. It's a high punt, but it's going to take a good bounce. And they're going to let that know he's going to recover. Well, Virgin picks it up again. It. Maybe lost a yard or two. <laughs> so here we go now. Is Q4 is looming, and the score still. We are still in Q4. Oh yep. Yeah. Q4 is. Yeah. I don't this know way, how much has been taken out of it so far. Was looming but obviously. Ooze Valley's possession down now at their 25. Let's see what they can do on this drive. Be looking to do a good ball control, move the ball, keep control, use the clock in their favour now. Ooze Valley's possession, but from a Renegade's perspective, they really want to get that ball back in that position now. As we see. Just absolutely swarmed by numbers of just a sea of red. Sub, seven people in the tackle there. Joseph Chung with the carry and gain of one. A generous one. Yeah. Second down. Second and about nine and three quarters. Right. Steve has actually relocated to the far end there. So he, uh, is he that he's, got, he's got a great angle at the minute. Brilliant angle there. But right. Here we go then, second and eight. Fumbled, Fumbled snap. The, ground. the QB is rolled out. He's Fumbled looking, up. directing, picked and it's picked off by number 40. And that's exactly what Berkshire Renegades needed. Late in the game, turnover. Deep in but, uh, East Valley oh, territory. Flaggy, flaggy, flaggy. And there is some laundry on the field. Come on, ref. Come on. Stuart Burrows there with the interception. I don't think I've seen a more perfect interception. That just went straight into his hands. I, I feel like the quarterback panicked because he, or because of the dodgy snap. I think everything else, his it's thought process just went out the window and just, I don't know why. We threw the ball to the defender, but I guess he just didn't see him there. And it looks like it could be after the... hold on the return, I think, is what the referee's saying there. So, it was after... Archer the, have the ball. It was after the pick, the foul. 
Berkshire will still have the ball, but they'll be back to the few yards. Looks like they're on their own, on the 40-yard line going in. Mark it on the far side. So, well, so here we go then. Berkshire need a good score on this drive. Do. Toss to 22. Outside contained there and, by the defence. And that's Aiden. Oh, is that Aiden? It's number seven, not number nine. There is a number nine. No, Aiden. Yeah, there's there. a number nine. Like number nine. There's a number nine. Number seven and number nine on the tackle, yeah. Seven, number nine. And I want to say that number... The other guy in the... Can't see what number he is. 45. 45. Yeah. But yeah, great outside contain there then. 45, mate. Loss of about four on the play now. Are those blitz be panned up up the middle? To 22, he bounces it, and he's got some space, and he's yeah. horse collar down, and that flag finally comes out. Yeah, that was that, that was that was yeah. <laughs> Twenty two's coming up limping. Probably just an awkward fall. Yeah. Hopefully it's not um could potentially be cramp. It looks like he's getting a cramp treatment, but yeah. a good run there and um a, an additional moving the chains, he's got the momentum back. They're gonna give him a breather. Right, down so. about the twenty yard line then. Really want Renegades up. to punch this one in. First and ten. So number 13's in the uh, tailback for this drive. Run! This is handed off to 33 for a short... Flag on the play though. Gain and another out. flag. Possibly a false start that one. So number 13's Dan Williams for the Berkshire Renegades. Right about it. Right about the 20 yard line, that flag was thrown, so pretty much on the line of scrimmage. That will be, that will be a false start. Yeah, so the call was a false start. Right, five yards, first and 15. Down, no, no. I'm just, just, just having a, no. a I'm having a lean rather than a sit down. No. I'm saying you're more welcome to <laughs> yeah. um, Thank you. So here we go then. Are we on a Steve's camera or this one? We are on Steve's camera, yeah. Switch back No, I'm just comfortable with just doing. Man in motion for the renegades. <laughs> Given to 33. Handed it off to 33. Good He's power run. Powerfully knocking a few receivers. Defenders over. I keep saying receivers. Defenders over. <laughs> I mean, they're receiving something. <laughs> this way. A little bit after affairs in the, in the, in the huddle. The players just trying to disentangle themselves there after the tackle. It must be. A good gain of six there. Second down and four. This is definitely way down a little bit because. Well, second and four then for Berkshire in, in the red zone now. 13 and 33 lined up behind the quarterback. Hands to number 13. Hand up to 13, he's got a bit of space and brought down brought down by number 62. Short a bit game. Of help there from number 48 there. Positive yards. So if this play's not successful, are you going for it? Are you going to kick it through? If you can, obviously. You're two points down, and I'm not convinced that they necessarily have a kicker. Yeah, um, that's what I'm worried about. So, so I mean, I'm worried about for the Renegades. Number 13, Dan Williams comes out. Number 14, Mason Williams goes in. Okay. Interesting. The distance, the down distance, where it's third and realistically, what, third and one and a half, maybe two? Uh, they go for a short push, and I don't think they... Okay, let's they see what the refs are going to say here. Because that doesn't look like it gained. Right, we've got to watch much. the body language of both sides. So, referee on our sideline's not moving. So I believe 
he's, he doesn't believe it's a first down. Having a, referee's having a, con, uh, a good old conversation here. You've got a player that's slow to get up. From the Renegade side, from the black bottoms, I can see. Yep, he's, he's good, he's just laying down. <laughs> So referees are conferring about the spot. Me, I'd go for it. Yeah, 100%. At this point, you have to. What's the... Uh... We've, had two, we've had two extra point attempts from... No, sorry, we... The first touchdown. Okay. Be a fourth and one here for the fourth and one. At this point, yeah, I'd really go yeah, for it. You, they need something spicy here. This, yeah. is, this is the sport tank turning point right here. Yeah. I think so. It makes sense to go for it, especially this late in the game. If you haven't gone for a kick at all, it's line not up I'm, I'm calling this an eagle push. No, 14 on the outside, but he's to met. the outside, and he he's still on it. He's spinning. He's around. not going to make it. And that's big. For Ooze Valley Ooze is going to turn that ball over. That's huge for Ooze Valley. Where we need to get a time check here because if Ooze Valley run this out, this could be very, very shocking. 100% effort for the running back there, but fantastic work by the defence. So they're on about their 11, sorry, 21 or 22 yard line. At least midway through this fourth quarter. And that was fantastic work by the Israeli defence. That front seven really, really, really just forced that running back to have to bounce outwards and that's not where the space was and he had just had nowhere to go in the end. No, I think uh, I think the Renegades are really kicking their teeth by not putting Lavelle back on. Chung spins with the ball, but for a short gain. You see a short gain, and Chung himself is slow That's to get up. Loss even, a little bit back. Looks like we've got back from the line of scrimmage, but we are deep at the other end of the field for this view. No video, just comment. Oh, Switch to our camera. Right, well, we're going to have to bring it into radio style commentary then. Describe every little thing we can possibly see. Um, the grass is green, the trees are green, the sky is blue, there's a rugby field. The sky field. is green. The guys. It's the handoff. Nope. QB keeps. There's a QB keep and he's run out to the left and he's. He's lost the ball. The ball is out. Reading and have the box it. Have it. The team in red have it. <laughs> Courtesy of number 21 there. And Berkshire has the ball back and they have another chance to drive down the field and score. Now, Neil, I can confirm that that's uh, an issue on your end. We've got, I've just checked in on the stream and it's, the video's there. <laughs> Zaydaleru there with the uh, recovery, if they've ruled it a fumble. I mean, that ball looked like it, I can't quite yes, see the replay, it looked like have. it was coming out. And that first down, Berkshire. Was and comfortably we were, we out were the talking about the, down. the old sport tank turning point, and I think we may have just seen it. I would have said the same thing with the pick, but just got a... So, well, as you said, we, it was Valley, they're up by two, at least coming up to the two minute warning. and we've got a long few stoppages. But speaking of that, there's that danger man again on the field, Ashley Lavelle. He's in the huddle there, just next to the quarterback. And he really has been arguably the difference maker in Barks' offence. That takes it on the hand it off to him. Breaks to the outside. He's got the space. And, and out of bounds. Just out of bounds. That's going to be a big, 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 After big game. After a very, very healthy seven or eight yard gain there. Yeah, if you're Berkshire, you've got to be bouncing now. Momentum's on He's limping side. again, but he's going back in. He's, he's going in. He's going he's for one. his body on the line for the team now. One final push. <laughs> you know, and if, if Berkshire are able to get the score, they're going to have a lot of confidence to be able to trust their defence for the rest of the game because he's got space around the outside. He's brought down. Bear crawls himself. And that is going to be. For a first down. Another first down. 
moving those chains. It's going to be another first and 10 just outside the 10 yard line. Uh, no, no. A referee six. Referee six. Third and short. one. Okay. I stand corrected. Third and one. I, I, I do. The referee was waving his arms above his head, which because the play ended inbound, so it wasn't to stop the clock. Thirty-three with the dive or sixteen with the push dive? I would say sixteen getting pushed. Twenty-two with the lead. Thirty-three. Ten, so it's still first and ten. They can get a first down without getting the touchdown. Uh, Eagles defense have been able to sort of secure. There's no harm, more high pressure situation in the game when you're up by two. And it they're encroaching on your end zone. Really, really backs against the wall at a moment like this. As oh, good pressure. back is absolutely smothered there by number 70 there. 52 and 70. Nice to put Gales back in the game. That was going to go down as about maybe a loss of one yard. Unfortunately, we don't account. We can't find a 52 on the roster for yeah. Ooze Valley. Was it 62 in the sweltering Berkshire heat? But, and that is a sentence that has never ever been said before. <laughs> oh, that's a toss to number 22 there. Lavelle's got some space. And he's just brought down. 53 with a tackle. He's going to be pretty slow to get up again, but he's absolutely putting a shift today. Yeah, here we go, but that's a third and 12 for Berkshire now. Third and 12. They're going to have to go for it. They're going to have to go for it fourth down. They're going to need to go and get something because... They've got to do something to avoid them keying on the run play. Bubble screen or a pass play is... I think it's too straightforward if you go for a run first down, a run second down. By the time you get to third down, you haven't made up enough yards or you've lost a few yards, you almost certainly have to go past. Yeah, here we go. What, what it the just becomes too easy to read. What the I, thought that was the, I thought that was the game done. Timeout. And a timeout for the Renegades. I'll tell you what, it's stressful here in Reading. Two points, or three points. Two points. I, well, these boys don't want to draw, and I'd, I'd argue that you know they're quite far away from a safety. Yeah. The the problem is um, obviously being the two yeah, less likely to have it. I can I can account to I can account for. I would say five of the six prem teams at the moment in the prem south at least definitely have a kick up. Oh. It's not an injury, it's just a timeout. No, no, no. I, the, but I wanted to see if the battery was, but it's still got half a tank. I was oh. going to change it, but there's no point. Oh, we're good. We're good. Um, yeah. It's all ladies and gentlemen. Normally we'd have our own mics, but due to some technical issues, we're all spacing on one big mic, so you're going to hear me talk technical at some point. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the Prem North. I've not seen them play pers like in person or played against them, but I'd like to assume that they're all the same as well. You have a dedicated kicker or someone who can kick very well. See, I think, I think our timeout is potentially Barkshire cooking up something a bit spicy here. Do you want to sit down? That'd be alright. Put the same down. Oh. Third and 13 then after the timeout. Ball's on around about the 16 yard line. Mm -hmm. so here we go. Split field, one receiver each side, 81 to the left and 80 to the right. 22 in the backfield. It's a fake handoff. And the quarterback is looking for a receiver and he's dropped it. And oh my lord, and number 80 is going to be. He's going to be picking. having nightmares Lewis tonight. Kavanaugh. Absolutely. And here we go, I hear shouts of field goal. I mean, they're on the 10, they're on the 12 yard line, arguably. They're on the 12 yard line. That'll Will make it a 29 yard field goal. Will Ooze Valley ice the kicker? What a good question. Wouldn't it be funny if they didn't? 
I'll tell you what, that ice is going to melt here in Berkshire. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious? It'd be a water in the kicker. Water, 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 water in the kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just praying so that we don't here, have another left up right dink on, on the side again. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This and a could major. be yeah. it. And they do. They've iced the kicker. No, they've done it themselves. The so a timeout for Barkley before the snap gets off. They're going to have a conversation here. That would anger me so much. I don't know because the wind is just shifted. It's what's coming from our the, the, the behind Barkley, and it's just just drifted around a bit. So this kick is actually just going across the wind. So now dying down. I'll say that was a little bit of a tactical timeout. If they make the kick. With, with less wind. You've got a bit of a headwind, but it's on and off. So, so we need to zoom in. Pretty good. Barsha Renegades with a 29 yard field goal to take the lead. It, towards the end of the play, it's fumbled. And it's fumbled. He's up. He throws. And oh my lord. Did he catch He didn't catch it. No. He didn't nope. catch it, and Ooze Valley are going to take over. They're going to take over with less than two, arguably less than two minutes remaining. So we had a few minutes snapped by the whole. Sorry, sorry, sorry Moke, keep, keep going. Picked up by uh, Adam Hater with the pass to Lewis Kavanagh, incomplete. No two minute warning as of yet, I believe. Correct. No two minute warning as of yet, but it's going to be encroaching. Mm, very tight. Defensive performance, DDP defensive series for them in the last two times that Ooze Valley have had the ball, they're going to still feel confident that they can take that ball back, but if it happens again, they're probably going to want to return Just been... Just want to give a shout out, number 39 to come into the game, Max Molyneux, uh, was at Frasher for a couple of years, has come up here to Berkshire, his dad and his mum have actually travelled over from Cows on the Isle of Wight today. Very nice. Ian, Ian Molyneux, so... Uh, he's about over there. Got some fans. They've, they've travelled all the way up from the Isle of Wight to see Max play. So it's big, good to see him getting on the field. Big, big shout out to Ian Molyneux. As we see uh, QB runner. QB runner, and he's not going to get any, he's not going to have anywhere to go there. I think there's a flag. flag. It's squished. It's going to be a late hit. That's going to be. I can't remember which team it was, but Ian was a quarterback in his day. Some extra yards to the. Uh, Eagles there, just to bring them into a bit more safe field position. Yeah, I'm just going to go and ask you. Okay. But here we go now, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Russ, keeping us informed, the Cheetahs are still being the Apache 13-7 at the start of Q4. What's that? The Ian Warrington Scorpions. So there you go. Mollen Ian <laughs> Molyneux, Warrington Scorpions. And that's going to be a penalty on Ooze Valley. Going yeah, back a long way, but it's only a, a seems long. Five yard penalty then, and it oh, seems, and it seems to be that our calls for a potential safety of the fears are now becoming realised. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, you in, the, and in this weather, you'd start talking, get the safety and overtime. No overtime. I don't know why they got rid of overtime. QB keeper. Rolls out. Tackle there by number 40 and number 21 with the assist. Yep, good job by the defence. Here we go, News Valley, obviously you're going to, if you're the Eagles, you want to burn this clock. Time out for Berkshire. That is their last time out of the game. They really want, they really ought to, or need to get that ball back from their perspective. News Valley are in a comfortable position, just... Just keep running at the clock. I believe they still got timeouts. Yeah, I believe they do. Uh, yeah, just keep running the clock out. I haven't seen News Valley take a timeout, so they're going to be second and ten from the original line of scrimmage now. They're in brilliant position because without the two-minute warning having taken place, if Berkshire does get the ball back and um, score, they still have their timeouts to be able to go back down the field. So I think they're going to trust themselves and they're going to have a lot more confidence. Just over two minutes, so we are approaching the two-minute warning. Finishing this game. Two, didn't quite hear the complete announcement, but I heard two, two minutes out. But this is going to be interesting because now Berkshire have got no timeouts at all. 
They're going to have to have hurry up, I think. But look, and that's, is that a second? Is that a second or a third? Because that's like a second and four for his value. That's, that is a second and four, yeah. That well, is, I'm not sure where the. Indeed, they, they're going to need the to get the down marker and the referee are in different places. That's true. That, I look at the down marker. I look at the referee. Oh, the referee is usually correct, to be honest, but the referee will tell the down marker where to go. Yeah, there but we the go. No. Time, there we go. So it is a second and ten. I was going to say, I didn't think like, I don't think the QB got that many yards. <laughs> so the second and four would. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, it they, makes it a very different game now because if I'm uh, if I'm yeah, defense yeah. on second and four, I'm. Don't forget the, the shout out to I'm anybody doing chain through because it is running up and down yes. the field as well. Chung with the handoff toss to the to the left, and he's going to be chopped down and. Solid tackling there Maybe to stop him getting. loses a yard or two. And it's that. going to be interesting to see if he's out but of bounds. He's down. He, he's he's down. He's yeah. definitely down. And he's slow to get up. He's on. He's on, Steve. My time, my time. Okay, he's um. So it looks like he only got back to the line of scrimmage on that run. So third down. Just about got back to the line. And he's, uh, but but what, do you think he's down or do you think he's out of bounds? Is that place? That's a factor. Outside the two-minute warning, the clock doesn't stop for out of bounds once the ball's reset. It's only in the last two minutes does the clock stop running. So the injury timeout does stop the clock. The fact that he's injured. Yeah. He'll stop. Well, um, we are very close to the two-minute warning at the moment. Here we go then. There we go. Third down and ten. Big, big play for his Valley Eagles. If he rolls out, he's going to keep he he's got to tuck the ball underneath his arm. Goes the other way and he looks. He's going backwards. The circus is coming and they're sending him, sending him backwards. Do Ouse Valley, does it, do Ouse Valley want to give up a safety? I, I'm not quite sure what they're doing, but they've lost about ten yards on that play. Fifteen maybe. This is going to be ridiculous. This is going to be fourth and halfway up to A34. Like they are going to, he deliberately chucked that ball and then he was just running back. It, it's almost like, you know, when they do take that punt in their own end zone and they try and run out the clock before giving up a safety. It looked like he was doing something like that. It's going to be very, very, they're going to need an absolute... Fourth and about 25. They're going to need to get to about on, high wicket for a first down. I believe that's the two minute. And... That is the two minute so warning. Two minute warning and Ooze Valley are punting. Berkshire have got 20 in the backfield and they also got no time outs. They will have to have a hurry up offense. Do but you they, think they can do it? They, well, that's it. Can they do it? Because realistically, if they've got a kicker that they can trust. The problem, which isn't a bad thing, but when you're in a position like this where you've got less than two minutes and you need to move those chains quickly, the run game isn't always the smartest or it's not the best. Yeah, so ball's on a 15-yard line. It's like 27's punting now. So, who's Valley take a timeout? So, second, it looked like 21 and 20 were lined up level with each other. <laughs> I realised I was looking. <laughs> My perspectives are all messed up. Uh, but they're actually lined up in a, a triangle formation. So, a short ball will be 21 to medium 48. ball 48, and or to yeah. this sideline, and 21, 20 will take every. So. Well, this is a bit of a pause before the snap, and the, uh, the whistle goes. Number 18, James Perry. As we're into the last few knockings of the game now, we'll just. Nine yard line, maybe the halfway line. They've got half field, two minutes. Just under two minutes with a rolling clock. Half field. It's going to be a uphill challenge. They can manage the clock without a bounds and incomplete passes. So, and obviously spiking the ball. 
22 no. takes out of the middle. Gain of about half of the uh, needed required yards. Yeah. It's going to be about second and five, second and maybe four. Yeah, it looks like a gain of six on that play. Healthy. Now we've got 22 out in slot, 13 in the backfield. Pass to number 18. And that one's broken up. Gonna make those passes. They've really got to make them. They've really got to make them count. Well, yes, the clock is stopping. They've got a bit more time to think about things. But the urgency is still there. Oh, is it, what, what's the down? It's, it's third down. Okay. The, uh, the Don't. person is just a bit of an amateur. Yeah. yeah, thank you for doing chain crew. Yeah. There we go. Changing it. Nope. It's quite obvious it's third down. I think they're, there we just, go. they're just struggling. So formation is last play. Quarterback signals. Re ready, Abarcha coach. There are some audibles. Yeah, here we go. Maybe he takes his life in shotgun. Looking, looking. Tackle. And he's taken, and that taken is, down. And that is Aiden Spear with a huge sack. He's got a beautiful voice. And what a beautiful tackle from him there. Oh. And that's going to be a four and 13. Okay. Four and 13. Before he's and pointed to the ground, that means it's under a minute to go. So here we go now. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. 13 yards. 13 yards off bus. QB looking, sends one across the field, and, and that's incomplete. Go. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, and then and we hear calls of kneel it out from the Ooze Valley Eagle. And the Ooze Valley Eagles. This has been a tough game and a tough weather condition for every. We're here sweating our butts off, let alone this hard work by both players. Well, I tell, I tell you, what, if you're an Ooze Valley Eagle. Many cold beverages. Uh, well, you better have a cooler box on that coach back because otherwise that's going to be a lukewarm, lukewarm beverage, luke, not the nicest. Luke, well, lukewarm buds. <laughs> well, speaking of, oh my goodness, have you done it again? Yeah, but I went over there, but oh, it's just for it's just hurried on. Wind. Just, oh. I should have done it. It's cool, it's cool. Over there. I tried, bro. I tried. At least you're not on a date. That would be. Yeah, but a smell to the smell. So there we go. So. And Lady Markship, 14 to 12. Absolutely fantastic game here. Cannot believe they have done it. I'm happy. I'm going to go and see some of the boys. It's been a, a close second. game. It's been a close game, but. Um, as you said earlier, now we've actually finished the game. Here's another highlight of a beard man over there walking. Um, fantastic beard he's got there. So, ladies really? and gentlemen, hosting the London Blitz. And then we've got the under 19s, Ked Exiles versus the London Warriors. But that's not the only London Warriors game, because I will be in Bristol. Coming up to the Bristol as Techs. Finally, get to see Warriors on screen. That's not a national final. That's not a national final. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to... the first time ever, but I don't know. But later on, I'll tell you this now. I still think that if you're going to give an MVP of the day, it's going to go to number 22 of Ashley Lavelle, number 22 of the Berkshire Renegades. There. Let's see if we can get him down there for a little a couple of words afterwards. Certainly can do. I want to go and shout at the East Valley Eagles, the old... the old team but yet ladies and gentlemen score stands 14 to 12 let's see if there's any other scores floating about i personally want to see what that lee miners shropshire revolution game is doing so let's have a look here before ryan sharkey saying oh Full time, the Shropshire Revolution beat the Lee Miners 24 14. Currently 10 0 to the Cardinals in East Kent versus Ipswich. LLP keeping us in form. Humber Warhawks 27. Doncaster 33. Sussex Thunder versus East Kent Mavericks at half time. Both those half time scores. 
Let's see what's going on here. And it's full time, and the Norwich Devils beat the Blitz B 18 to 6. Surge put the 50 burger. Alphas 14 and Q3. And those are all the ones that we've got here. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, could be. For the Kent Exiles versus the Blitz and the Kent Exiles under 16s versus the London Warriors. But I will also be in Bristol for the Aztecs hosting the London Warriors. We hope to see you there next week, ladies and gentlemen. Me, myself, personally, I will be at home because it's a bye week. It's a bye week. I believe we don't have training. But it's a bye week. Eagles 14, Berkshire Renegades 12. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I've been Tebs. Thank you to Kwame. Thank you to Steve. Thank you to Mike. Thank you to Ooze Valley. And thank you to Berkshire. We will see you next week. Go and get yourself a cold drink. And we will see you here next week. Thank you and goodbye. Nathan, I have not seen any updates.